Okay, sure. This is for HRL. Then can you please start with the introduction? Uh, thank you, ma'am, that you gave me this opportunity of introducing me. My name is Shivam Gurg, and I graduated from UPES Dehradun in the year 2023 in chemical engineering with specialization in refining in petrochemicals. I, I did my internship from IFPO Fulpur. And then in my final year project, the topic of my project was co pilaster of biomass using different materials. Thank you. Okay. So can you just tell me, Shivam, what are your hobbies? Uh, my hobbies include traveling, cooking, and coin collection. Traveling. So where you have traveled so far? Uh, Ma'am, uh, uh, in past months, I've traveled to uh, uh, nearby Delhi. I've been traveling to Delhi, Dehradun. Okay. So what do you like about traveling? Uh, Ma'am, traveling uh, gives me opportunity to know about the culture, the local people, and what the people, that local food. Okay. Shim, you recently graduated, right? Yes, ma'am. Why you consider yourself fit to join HRRL? Uh, ma'am, I think that uh, since HRRL allows us to set for the paper uh, for even position at a pressure, and uh, uh, I'm good at my academics, other than that, I am a disciplined, hardworking, uh, collaborative. I, I, uh, go, I am good at working with, in uh, groups. So I think I am fit for this role. Okay. Why particularly HRRL you are going? Uh, ma'am, uh, since HRRL is setting up a new nine uh, nine MMTP greenfield refinery from petrochemical complex, and uh, uh, and it allows me to learn more about the commissioning process and thereafter the working of refineries but in any other uh, PSU I don't think so I'll get such a great opportunity like HRRL. You know like uh, BU being the youth of India why don't you go for private sector? Uh, yes ma'am I think that there's a great question from HR point of view but uh, uh, private sector uh, since uh, both private sector and government sector is uh, uh, working in their domain for the development of India and I don't differentiate, uh, but uh, since college days, I have always been uh, in, uh, I've made up my mind to join a government company so that I can be on the front line to uh, be, uh, so that I can uh, in the front line to, uh, for the development of the nation. You mentioned the development of nation. What you have done for the development of nation so far? Uh, Ma'am, tell uh, uh, today uh, I've only uh, contributed a few uh, that uh, piece of a few clothes and a few books for this uh, 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 old age home collected a uh, woolen clothes for old age home when I was in the college under the club uh, IACHE and I've contributed uh, with my monetary terms for uh, uh, children uh, uh, scheme for the education as far as I've done. But if I'll be in enter HRRL, then it will uh, help me to uh, work. Uh, sorry, mom. What's your vision? Vision? Your vision in life. Yeah. Uh, vision as in, uh, I'm not getting. Vision of your life. Oh, ma'am, uh, vision of my life is, uh, I want to, uh, ma'am, you want me to answer as if after I die, what I want my vision is or during my life. What do you, what is your vision? What is the meaning of the term vision? You know that? What we want from life. That's not vision. Okay. That mission? That is not vision. That's a wrong word. Okay. I should justify three positive traits in you. Okay, ma'am. Ma'am, I'm optimistic. I'm hardworking and I'm a team player. Choose yourself as a hard worker. Why not a smart worker? Uh, Ma'am, uh, I believe that uh, as one proceeds doing hard working, smart works come thereafter. Without hard working, uh, there's no point of a smart work. So first, you have to do hard work. Tell me one thing. Um... If you chose hard work versus smart work, you went for hard work, right? Uh, 
Now okay. one important question, just a situational one. Okay. Uh, you know, like you have gone through different animals. We talk about donkey as the most hardworking animal, right? Yes, ma'am. But still we make lots of fun of that animal. And whenever we have to say some person, a foolish one, we call that person a donkey. Why is that? Yes, ma'am. Why uh, that? Even if he's hardworking, why we make fun of that animal? Uh, ma'am, this is because, uh, ma'am, that is some other point of view. We make fun uh, considering because of its uh, foolishness. Uh, as I've said, mentioned that, uh, but we can also consider that donkey has an ability to carry heavy loads uh, for uh, uh, long distances. And uh, I know it's a slow animal. But we make question because of its slowness, not because that it don't have the ability to do things. And uh, as we all have heard the story of a rabbit and a tortoise, uh, we always make uh, fun that uh, uh, if we uh, ask anyone who is new to the story, then they'll say that uh, tortoise will, uh, sorry, rabbit will win. But we know that slow and steady wins the race. As one start proceeding in a new direction or uh, will gradually get uh, uh, success. See, that's not a justified answer. Okay, I'm going to sum up. Just tell me if you have to summarize your personality in one single word, Shivam, what will be it? Uh, one single word. Uh, one single word. Uh, I'm optimistic. Okay. So, Shivam, it was nice to interact with you, though you had made mistakes. Obviously, you had to because uh, you have to learn with every proceedings. Now, two, three things which I would say you on overall run. Shivam, first is there is a lack of confidence, which I felt. Uh, your content is good. You are, the way of speaking is good. But the way you are speaking, it looks like you have learned your own well, learn kiya hua, pata pata isko bol rahe. Take it. The most negative trait is very around se, patience. Se, Facial expressions के साथ नहीं बोल रहे हो तो उससे मुझे पता चल रहा है कि रट्टा मार के याद किए हुए आंसर्स की क्या क्या बोलना है तो दैट इज द फर्स्ट नेगेटिव थिंग व्हिच आई हैव सीन इन यू क्लियर नाउ व्हेन इट कम्स टू इंट्रोडक्शन इंट्रोडक्शन रेस्ट वाज वेरी नाइस एक अब्रप्ट एंडिंग अब्रप्ट एंडिंग शुड नॉट बी देयर उसमें कैसे हो सकता है जैसे अपने ग्रेजुएशन से पहले बोल दो लाइक कमिंग टू माय एकेडमिक डिटेल्स मैम आई हैव डन माय ग्रेजुएशन फ्रॉम दिस एंड दिस यूनिवर्सिटी इन द स्ट्रीम ऑफ दिस in my graduation throughout my graduation i have done multiple projects or you can say i have got an exposure of diverse projects but the major project which i have done is that is my major project you just took the name na that is the way you ended up or you could say it out agar aapko project pe chahte ho ki aapka interview project pe discuss kare because that is why you ended it over there right so you might be well versed on the project to us pe thoda sa aap apni ek addition bata sakte ho that that was a group project and um, i was a team leader or something of that कुछ भी आप ऑपरेशन का बता सकते हो उसमें थोड़ा सा आपको अच्छा स्टार्ट करना होगा अच्छा एंड करना होगा और हॉबीज जनरिक जैसे वो मैंने पूछा दे वर फाइन देन वाई नॉट प्राइवेट राइट तो नेशन बिल्डिंग एंड ऑल दैट नहीं आएगा बेसिक आ जाएगा कि मैम आई थिंक बोथ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन आर रियली फिट एज प्राइवेट एम्प्लॉयज और यू कैन से प्राइवेटाइजेशन एज प्रोवाइड अपॉर्चुनिटी टू मैसेव नंबर ऑफ एम्प्लॉयज बट वन ड्रॉबैक विच आई फेल्ट इज दैट इन प्राइवेट सेक्टर your work gets static with the nature of time because you have to repeat your task because you get good worst but the no, number of projects which we get from the government ab kya hota psus mein aapko government ki side se projects bahut aate hain aur different different projects pe kaam karne ko milta hai privatization mein aapko baar baar projects change nahi hote hain aapne char panch projects hote hain usi pe aap work out karte ho that is something negative kyunki aapka work bahut static sa hona shuru ho jata hai aur repetition hona shuru ho jata hai so that is good also for some people but i don't think so ki i want to work on static projects That would be a better answer. Clear? Then development of nation and all that. Because you know, all of you guys are saying. So you can say that. But apart from it, development of nation is another thing where I think it is good. Ah, vision is there, Shivam. You can see yourself after 10-15 years. Okay? After dying, not before, not after. It's a life vision. It is where do I see Shivam? So Shivam would be like, ma'am, I consider myself. I would be an enriched personality once I get selected. And I think that is good. Okay? Then development of nation is another thing where I think it is good. Ah, vision is there, Shivam. After dying, not before, not after. It's a life vision. It is where do I see Shivam? So Shivam would be like, ma'am, I consider myself. I would be an enriched personality once I get selected. And I think that is good. Okay? i become uh, you can say uh, i get promoted and even i am feeling myself uh, for the long run of my life so vision is your long term goals mission is your short term vision is your long term clear aur apni website pe bhi dekhna hai chural ki website pe unka kya vision hai unka kya mission hai aapke vision aur mission se wo kaise match karta hai ye teen ways hote hain question puchne ke clear done okay 
थ्री पॉजिटिव ट्रेट्स दैट वॉज फाइन हार्ड वर्क और स्मार्ट वर्क वाला ये क्वेश्चन आपके हार्ड वर्क वर्ड से ही आया था जो डंकी एनिमल वाला था तो इस तरह से कुछ सिचुएशनल क्वेश्चंस व्हिच दे गेट रन डंकी इज मैम वेरी हार्ड वर्किंग एनिमल दो इट इज कंसीडर्ड फुलिश बिकॉज वन थिंग यू वुड कंसीडर डंकी हैज नॉट इट्स एम ऑफ इट्स ओन उसका कोई एम नहीं होता है वो दूसरों के लिए काम कर रहा होता है और जब कोई भी इंसान जिसका एमलेस है हम उसको एनिमल के बराबर काउंट करते हैं एनी ह्यूमन हु इज एमलेस वो डज नॉट वर्क फॉर हिमसेल्फ दैट इज कंसिडर्ड एज फुलिश ओनली दैट इज वाई वी मेक फन ऑफ वी डोंट मेक फन ऑफ इट्स हार्ड वर्क बट वी कंसिडर बिकॉज द पर्सन डज नॉट हैव एम so aim is very essential for anyone's life agar aap uh, we call, consider a uh, wolf or something as a most uh, clever animal why because they are working for themselves they are playing smart tricks for themselves such are very situational questions i have just asked one of them to you clear it was okay one not a bad one but yeah you have a scope of improving so i wish you improve it out so the many teacher bolni hai usko thoda sa better karke aao अब मैंने बहुत जनरिक पूछा आज बिकॉज इट वाज़ द फर्स्ट वन विद मी होपफुली इट विल बी गुड इन फ्यूचर ठीक है एनी प्रॉब्लम क्लियर नो मैम चलो ऑल द बेस्ट टेक केयर